Welcome back to the Mechanics of Solids lecture series. We're working examples of beams that have axial loads. We're continuing the problem that we started in the last example. I've summarized the information we found so far, which is basically the reactions AX and A sub Y, the force F1, and its decomposed components in the X and Y direction. The next step to solve this problem is to draw an axial force diagram, shear diagram, and moment diagram, specifically so that we can evaluate the axial force and the moment at points H and K, where we want to solve for the stresses. Let's start with axial force. And we'll derive our axial force in kilonewtons. Axial force is fairly easy. We can recognize that we F1, Y going down is equal to A sub Y going up. So that transmits a constant compressive force into the, uh, into the system and with a value equal to those reactions of 20.83 kilonewtons. Next, the shear force diagram. Shear is also in kilonewtons. And I'm going to start at the bottom and work to the top. With A sub X pointing to the right, the shear is going to jump to the right, a value of 12.5 kilonewtons. Then with the distributed load acting to the left, the shear is going to decrease. Shear is going to decrease to the left linearly. And the value at the other end, 12.5 uh, minus 10 times 2.5, is going to give us negative 12.5, or 12.5 in the other direction. And then, according to the reaction, it comes back to zero. Finally, the moment diagram, which is in uh, units of kilonewton meters, starting from the bottom and working to the top, the shear uh, acting in this direction is going to cause the moment to increase in the same direction to a peak at the middle, and then it's going to decrease back to zero. I'm not really too concerned about um, the value at the midpoint, but what I really want to find is the value at 0 0.9 meters from the bottom, which is the location that I'm asked to evaluate the stresses. So axial force, 20.83. The moment, we need to find that moment. I'll call it m sub x. And that moment is equal to the area of the shear diagram which is an area of the trapezoid, so I also need to find this value of shear at the same location to compute the area. So I can get V sub x from the equate 12.5 minus the slope 10 times the distance 0 0.9, which computes to 3.5 in the units or kilonewtons. Then the moment M sub x is the area of the trapezoid with endpoints 12.5 and 3.5. It's computed as 1 half the sum of the endpoint values, 12.5 plus 3.5 times the length, 0 0.9. And that computes to 7.2, and the, un the units are kilonewton meters. All right, we'll continue this example in the next video.